Welcome back to the spot, gang. Gonna do a quick flipper modification on my virtual pinball machine sitting right behind me. It currently uses contactors to give you that flipper feedback. I'm going to be swapping it out with the Thunderclaps. So if any of you have been messing around on VPIN forums or VPIN pages on Facebook, you've more than likely heard of the Thunderclaps by now. They are uh, like a solenoid replacement, 24 volt continuous hold, and they are brick houses. So currently I have the Siemens contactor in my cabinet. We're gonna put these two against each other, see which one performs better. But the Siemens are very popular amongst a lot of VPIN builders. They do tend to be the default for a lot of cabinets out there. Let's see how these stack up against each other. And this is more so for the person who doesn't want to mess around with a full flipper assembly from a real pinball table. Maybe you don't have the room for that inside your cabinet or you just don't want to get into that mess or figure it all out. Let's see how much of a plug and play solution these are. I got these from Doghouse Arcades. They do have a Facebook page and they also have a website. I'll drop that in the description below. So if these end up being something you guys want to take a look at, You'll have the info and you can reach out and try and get a set of your own. Maybe you want to use the entire cabinet and put a bunch of them in it. We'll see. Let's get into it and see how these things stack up against each other. So, got the box. I just uh, opened her up. I do have one fully assembled next to me, but we're going to check that out in a second here. When you open the box, first thing you're going to get is some instructions right here. It's going to tell you everything you need to know about installing them. Pretty easy. Got some bubble wrap. And um, they come just like so. So you can see I have one in here. That's all that comes in the box with it. Now it doesn't have all the mounting accessories on it, but you can see you can pull this completely out of the middle. And um, there was, the label was, it got hot from the delivery in the sun and the Doghouse Arcade label was kind of coming off so I just took it off. But this is what you can expect when you open it. And I will put this right up to the one that is already completed. So here you can see you have a crossbar on the top that stops the, uh, I guess the core from coming out of it. And then you have a mounting plate on the bottom. And there's a couple little extra fins here that essentially, show you if I can get a right camera angle here these go right here it's like they hold the bottom ring of the coil down right there so when you put the mounting bracket on the bottom it kind of sandwiches it in there so that you can use these holes to drill into the cab and secure it into place I will say that at least two of the holes on the bottom brackets of these line up with the original Siemens contactors holes but it's it's little narrower this plate so let's go ahead and open up the box with the accessories that come in i did get three of them so i have a backup one if something happens with one of the two that i got but here we have some accessories here this is going to be your diodes so it controls the direction of the current at least i'm pretty sure that's what they do here's your mounting bracket I don't claim to be a rocket scientist when it comes to a lot of this. I just figure it out and get it done. You're gonna need this guy. This is going to stop the, uh, I guess the, the core, we'll call it, from coming completely out of the assembly. So I'll show you how to do that. And then we're gonna have two more little fins right here to hold the bottom of the coil onto the mounting bracket. So let's get this stuff out of the way. We're gonna need one diode too, actually. Very important. So let's go ahead and pop this thing apart, put it together. First thing we're gonna do is take this out of the middle. And then by grabbing the entire coil, you can just pull that completely apart, just like that. We're gonna take the mounting bracket right here, and that goes over the top of these fins in the center, and you can see it kind of snugs up nice and flush with the bottom of it. I'm gonna do the best job I can to make sure the camera angle works, but at the end of the day, it is what it is. So here we go. We have that. So we're going to take the uh, coil. We're going to put it right back down on top of it. Nice and snug. So now we have that mounting plate on the bottom. And then we are going to take the top. Let's make sure the spring and everything stays intact. So there's that. And then this bracket right here, you're going to want to hold this down. And it essentially pops into one side over here. 
I can get it in there properly. And then you're gonna pop it around into the hole on the other side right here. Let's try going in from this side first. See if it makes it any easier. And then they can be kind of a, uh, kind of difficult to get in here because the other one gave me a little bit of, there we go, let's try and get that over. Okay, and, That is almost in right. Okay, all right, there we go. So now you have that restrictor on there so it can't pop out of place and it basically has that little bit of travel on both of them. So let's uh, prepare the cabinet, put one of these in and take a look at the comparison here. I'm also probably gonna drill a couple pilot holes, so let's take a look at what's going on in the cabinet. One more quick thing before we get into the cabinet. Let's put this diode on here. There are instructions in the paperwork right here that tell you exactly how to put it on. Very simple. You're gonna want the red on the right terminal and the black on the left. We're simply just going to pop these two screws back in. I took them out on the little terminals there. You're gonna screw them in and then you're gonna back them out a little bit when you wanna throw your wiring in there. The right side in the red is going to be your 24 volts. And then on the other side of the diode, you're gonna go ahead and mash in, you know, your black. I, I think that goes to your DOF controller, whatever it is, 24 volts in on the right, black wire out on the left. So let's get these back, let's get this uh, diode in there. All right, so got it in there, kind of loose. Just gonna go ahead and uh, snug that in a little bit. Make sure it's not going anywhere. And we are pretty much ready to go ahead and install these. One other thing I do wanna do, let me get this box of parts out. I do have another little mounting bracket in here. So I'm going to use this right here as a scribe. So I'm gonna put that in my cabinet on the wall where I wanna mount it. I'm gonna scribe these little four holes, drill a couple, you know, four little pilot holes, and then that way we'll be able to go ahead and lock these bad boys in. All right, guys, here we are inside of the cabinet. Uh, I have a couple pilot holes drilled in here. So I just used this as a guide and went ahead and drilled four pilot holes behind it. Um, this is where the other Siemens contactor connect so we removed the one there you can use the two screws if you just want to use two screws and line it up with the with the holes that are already there i just wanted to sink four screws in and make it nice and tight so let's go ahead and mount this thing and see how she looks cool so we have one of the thunderclaps mounted i did already um disconnect the siemens here so i'm just gonna I had these tied up with some wire nuts, and um, now we're just gonna go ahead and connect them to the terminals here. Yellow is going to go to the red side, and this thing is on there. So it's, um, it's time to fire it up. Let me connect the terminals, and we'll turn it on and compare the two. Okay, so we have the Thunderclap mounted, powered up, working versus the Siemens. I don't know how this audio is going to come through on the video, but probably not like it is I'm standing here in real life, but let's go ahead and test the thunderclap. So I will say if you go super fast on it, I don't know how often you're going to be mashing your flipper button that fast, but as far as normal response time and everything for a flipper, it definitely undoubtedly has more of like a thuddy or like thwackier sound in the cabinet. Here's the Siemens. I feel like it's going to sound louder on the video, but it doesn't deliver the same amount of feedback that you'd actually feel on the cabinet. So again, we'll go back here. This more so knocks into the cabinet harder. You can actually feel it resonate through the wood. This also does the same thing, but it's definitely weaker and it has more of a high pitched tone to it. So 
I would say as far as the overall feel of the feedback, the thunderclaps are definitely doing their job. Uh, let's go ahead and mount the other one and wrap this up. All right, so both of the thunderclaps are now in. I ended up taking the label off the other one too to make them look the same, but I have the ACDC table up, so it's kind of sifting through songs. Here you go. Definitely giving that way more of a satisfying thunk, thwack, whatever you want to call it. You guys, I appreciate you watching. Everyone, please like, share, subscribe. All that good stuff. Catch me on the live streams. I'll button this thing up and uh, we can see what it looks like. Actually, let's do that. Put the play field down so you can get an idea of what it looks like and what it sounds like with it all buttoned up. Here we are. Everything's buttoned up. Everything's done. Put back together. So here's the right flipper left flipper it's really hard to get that feedback sound when it's in the middle of a game you shouldn't hear the other solenoids going off but it's definitely more of a satisfying uh whack sound so if you guys are interested in the thunderclaps you can find them at doghouse arcades on facebook or on their website and i think they run about 45 bucks a piece um, but they seem to be working great in my machine. I think it's, uh, in my opinion, they're better than the Siemens contactors, but that's just one man's opinion. Anyway, thanks again, guys. Please like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. We'll see you on the next one.